So even though I hatched this idea a few weeks prior, on a plane ride back from Arizona, I decided to begin the new year with this monthly project of disposable cameras. At the time, it seemed like a great idea, taking a common and accessible device that recorded life. Well, my life is kind of boring and mundane. Well, I didn't take a few things into account. For instance, the time that the film would be out for developing, and the cost. I figured that the scans would be back in a timely manner. Well, the problem was is that I never sent the film off. And so now I'm four months into the year and all I posted were the keepers from the photo sets on my website. Anyhow, my daily life pretty much consists of waking up, going to work, doing my job, fighting traffic to get home, eating dinner, and falling asleep to classic episodes of Doctor Who. So you're not going to find any masterpieces in these photo sets. So the disposable camera of the month is a Fujifilm 400 that I purchased from my local big box store as I was stocking up on shampoo and toilet paper. It was pretty much 19 bucks before tax. To me, there's just something about capturing images on film than there is on a digital format. Perhaps it's the work that is required to produce the image. I definitely know that I am more thoughtful about my subject matter and composition when it comes to taking my time. Not to mention looking at my scene to see the color schemes. As I wander around my daily life, I took random pictures of the things of what I found to be interesting. With the set of images from the roll, it seemed so spread out, with no theme or proper organization. In contrast to when I burn a roll of film with intent of thought and purpose. To me, the subject is chaotic and less cohesive. And the best way that I can approach this is by mentally expanding the session time frame from hours to about a four week period. I'm very familiar with this film stock. I've been stocking up on these Fuji 403 packs for the last few months, mainly because they're already available in my local big box stores. And compared to other brands, it was a good price. I just wasn't sure how this film would react through the disposable camera though. For the most part, looking at the negatives after I developed them at home, I saw that they were going to be a little dark. Well, I knew once I get them into Photoshop, I can fix them in post. It was just basic adjustments of levels and exposure. Maybe three or four needed some color correction, and there was just one that I couldn't save. I think that the other thing that was kind of interesting to me was the usage of flash. I figured that the flash would actually blow up my subject and not have anything left to save and post, so I opted not to use flash on some of the images. I thought I knew the way this film would behave, but that was just based on the cameras that I was using. The majority of images that didn't have flash were noticeably darker and the colors seemed slightly off. So moving forward with this particular disposable camera project, I'm pretty much going to be using the flash 100% of the time, unless there's bright sun. <laughs>